I mentioned in the introductory video that we can use higher order proxies to do some of our tests and that simplifies things even further. For a test as simple as this, which you probably wouldn't have too many of in your real application, you can simply drop down to just that. It does a basic test, assert true, true. And if we go and run our tests again, everything still passes because the higher order proxy will automatically handle injecting this or the, the underlying PHP unit test case into that return value and then you can make your assertion. If we go back and have a look at our feature test, the high order proxies even allow us to get access to the underlying Laravel functionality without having to define this closure. For example, if we were to drop all of this extraneous stuff and simply assert okay, how's that for a readable test? Three lines, get, assert okay, Bob is your mother's brother, test still pass, everything continues to function. Up until now, we've been using the it helper, but PEST also gives you the option to use the test helper. Exact same thing, but sometimes it's a little bit more readable to do it this way than to use the it and then have all of your tests prefixed with the word it. So you could just test the homepage loads and our tests still pass. And it's all about readability and personal preference, whether you use it or test. In some instances, it will be more readable. In some instances, test will be more readable. But at the end of the day, both of them provide you the same functionality.